Hello there, I'm Rob, and we're going to be finding the slope of a tangent line to a logarithmic function, so for the log of x squared, which looks something like this, and I've drawn what it should look like. Here's the curve, it's got two sides, and x marks the spot of the point 5 log 25, and there should be a tangent line that just barely touches it at that point. That's how it works. So the standard way to find the slope of a tangent line is using a derivative. So we need to take the derivative of y equals log x squared. But that looks like, that looks kind of hard. It looks like you'd have to use a chain rule and nobody likes using the chain rule if they don't have to. So it's best to always try to simplify first. Is there a way to simplify that expression. Well, yes, there is. Because if you remember logarithm rules, an exponent can be brought out as a multiplication. So I think it's better to write this as 2ln x. And that is the same thing as long as it's defined. Now, I would point out that if you plug a negative into this, you get no answer. If you plug a negative into this, you will get an answer because it's squared to make it positive. But that's not going to matter to us because we're only looking at the positive side anyway, so we're fine. So we can go ahead and use this. So what's a derivative? Well, derivative of ln x, you are supposed to have just memorized this point. It's 1 over x. And that's a whole lesson, a whole explanation as to why that is that would take a lot longer than we have right now. So let's just accept it. y prime is 2 over x because it's a constant you can pull the two out do derivative of log x is one over x and when i say log i mean ln natural log and two times one over x is two over x now it says what it's a slope at the point five ln 25. well there's no y in here there's only an x so if we want to know what that number is all we have to do is plug in the x and the x is five so it becomes two over 5. And that's the calculus part. The calculus is done now, but we're asked to find the equation of the line, not just its slope. Well, you have to go back to algebra for this. You have to say, I have a slope. What else do I need to find a line? I need a point. So if they didn't tell you that it's 5 ln 25, You'd say, well, I know the x is 5, so I'd plug it into the original function, ln of x squared, plug in 5, I'd get ln 25. So you need to think back to your rules for finding slope. Uh, equation of a line in y equals mx plus b form. And there are a couple ways to do that. Uh, know which one you know. You could do y equals two-fifths, which is the slope that we found, x plus b. That's how I like to do it. I like to then plug in the numbers. Y, or sorry, we know y. We need to find out what b is, because y and x can change, but m and b are constants. So we need to know what b is. So I plug in the point 5 and ln 25. So I get ln 25. And you could also do 2 ln 5. It would give you the same answer because they're the same thing. It is 2 fifths times 5 plus b. Well, this is nice. The 5 and the 5 divide out. So we're left with b would be, we'd subtract from both sides here, equals, I lost something. That was b. b equals log 25 minus 2. So the final answer would be y equals this, 2 fifths x plus b log ln 25 minus 2. And some people use what's called the point slope form. I'm not a fan of point slope form, but if that's what you like, you could do that instead of this last part. Mm -hmm.